coming on three years training at MVJ. I've always been into uh, watching it on TV, and I was started out uh, with a little bit of doing it in backyard with buddies uh, in school, and then I just kind of knew a couple guys that got into it. Uh, they joined a local gym, and I just wanted to go and check it out just to see if I'd like it. I ended up uh, falling in love with it and uh, bounced around to a couple gyms and uh, finally found my way to MVJ, and that's where I call home now. Well, I was at a, a different martial arts school fighting, and uh, I, I competed on the Ring Wars card a couple times. That's a uh, Greg Pritchett show, and I was having a little bit of uh, a hard time at, at my gym where I wasn't really getting everything I needed. I didn't really have the, the coaching staff I needed. I didn't have the, the training partners. You know, I, it just was kind of holding me back. And uh, Greg Pritchett saw potential in me when I was fighting on the Ring Wars card, invited me to uh, train up every now and then. And then he ended up giving the uh, open welcome to join Team MVJ. And now I make the, the commute and been training here for a couple of years now. I have to say my, my most memorable moment was probably uh, a kickboxing match at Ring Wars 9, where I, where I captured the uh, Ring Wars K1 title and I got a head kick knockout against it. Uh, it was a trilogy fight against somebody that I was one and one with. I was pretty nervous going into the fight because we were one and one with each other and the last time we fought was a loss. So it was pretty cool to get the big knockout and win the championship. What separates Team MVJ, the Modern Jiu Jitsu Athletics Program, versus other gyms either I've been at or I know other fighters train at is a uh, the whole breakdown of the system, whether it's conditioning, I never have to worry about getting tired. Whereas before I joined here, by that second and third round, especially the end of the second round, definitely the third, I was I was pretty gassed. MVJ, when I joined, I told him that was one of my main concerns. I don't want to be tired going into a fight. And he said, that's the last thing you have to worry about training here. We do conditioning, conditioning, conditioning. Also, uh, my technique has improved greatly. We have, uh, we constantly are going over uh, targets and where to aim and where to hit on the body, not just kind of swinging recklessly. Not, we really try to pinpoint our strikes and pinpoint our grappling to certain targets and points of the body. I, th I think some misconceptions people have about martial arts or, or uh, competing in, in some sort of combat sport is that they think it's kind of like human cockfighting or something like that. They, they just kind of see two guys in there, whether it's a cage or a ring, and they're just trying to swing recklessly, when really it's, it's not like that at all. Um, it's a sport just like any other sport, just like football or, or, or basketball, you know, we train very hard. Uh, in my opinion, we train a lot harder than other athletes in different sports. And um, combat sports are very dangerous, but so are so is football and, and, you know, rugby and things like that. So. I am uh, preparing for a mixed martial arts fight at Stellar Fights 20, January 11th. It's an MMA fight at 155 pounds. Long-term goal is to be a professional MMA fighter, but I realize, you know, uh, that that's a, a bit ways down the road. But my short-term goal is I'd like to be the uh, WK national champion. I came up short uh, two years in a row, and this year is, is my year. I'm coming for that strap.